Okay, now most of the uh, cells in our body have a nucleus. Now a nucleus is a large organelle somewhere in the middle of the cell that has uh, two layers of a phospholipid bilayer membrane. Um, the inner layer is relatively smooth. The outer layer has lots and lots of pores within it. Now, okay, I'm going to draw these little pores here. These are very large protein pores. Okay, so inside um, the two layers of the nucleus, there is the nucleolus, which is just a um, very tight bundle of DNA, all wrapped up into chromosomes. So one of the major functions of the nucleus is to sequester and protect the genetic material of the body. Another uh, function of the nucleus is to provide surface area for little enzymes to exist, and these enzymes help, um, help the DNA to sort of unwrap and to um, disconnect, and I'm going to talk about DNA in future slides, um, and to transcribe that DNA into RNA. So it creates little strands of RNA. And these little enzymes on the surface area of the inner membrane help that. Now, you'll notice here that there are um, the little pores will actually allow the RNA to move out. Now, it's interesting because these pores connect to another very important structure within the cell called the endoplasmic reticulum. Um, and the endoplasmic reticulum is a collection of sort of tube light structures that have tons and tons of surface area. And these tube like structures um, are connected directly to those pores. Now these tube-like structures allow um, the uh, a type of RNA um, called messenger RNA to move out of the uh, move out of the nucleus and into the endoplasmic reticulum. And in the endoplasmic reticulum, the RNA um, will be able to bring genetic information outside of the um, outside of the cell into the endoplasmic reticulum for the body to begin to synthesize uh, proteins with. Now I'm going to talk about that more when I talk about proteins, so stay tuned for the next slide.